special root guide. Uh, to be able to use this guide, you will need Tor already installed as well as uh, Magisk Zip flashed already to your actual phone. Uh, afterwards, we'll proceed with this guide. So make sure you have all that set up first, and then you can come back here, and we'll be able to run the setup for this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Google search for Smalley Patcher, and you're going to find it on XDA. I will link the actual uh, link below. What you'll do here is you'll scroll down a bit on the page. You'll make sure that you have .NET Framework 4.7.1 installed as well as Java. Make sure they're up to date as well. And this does require you to be running an Android device of Android 6 or higher. Uh, once you do, make sure you have all that installed. You can scroll down the post and then download the attached file at the bottom. Uh, and then following that, it'll come into your downloads folder. We'll open that up and we'll extract it. Now after that's extracted, you'll get the actual file. You'll right click run as administrator. And you'll make sure that this says idle at the bottom. Once this does say idle, it may take a few minutes here. All right guys, so we, now that we do have this idle, what we need to do now is make sure that your phone's connected to the PC. And you will need to make sure that your USB debugging is on. Uh, as you can see on mine in this uh, mirror, it's currently on already. Make sure it's turned on and that you'll allow the pop-up as well. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking ADB patch and we're going to wait for it to complete the checks here. And I'll be back with you in a moment when it, uh, when it completes. So now that it's idle, it generates a zip folder. What we're going to do is we're going to right click that and then send it to, uh, make sure your phone's connected uh, as media. Mine is not currently. Let's go ahead and change that to file transfer. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and send this to your actual phone. Okay. Uh, so now that we have that done, we'll go on the phone here. We'll look in the internal files and we should have an install pack oh, pardon me we should have okay if we go to recents we should have a patcher which is there so now that we have that we can go ahead and go to your magisk module that you installed previous to the guide let's go into manager go into modules as you can see i already have it installed all you have to do is click the plus scroll down to where your patch is and then patch it and once it said once it patches it will ask you to reboot the phone once you reboot the phone, you'll be back in Magisk again, and you'll have the, the module installed here. So that's really all you need for this part. Then now we'll go into settings, and we'll make sure that we, this is originally going to say hide Magisk Manager. You're going to make sure you, uh, you do that, as well as Magisk hide from various forms of detection. Uh, now that we also have Magisk open, we'll also use the Magisk hide to hide Google Play services, and make sure all these boxes are checked as well as Pokemon Go. Make sure all the boxes are checked as well. And that's pretty much it for the Magisk portion of things. Uh, I will just show you how to modify a few settings here in your location before we go ahead and install GPS joystick. So under location, uh, you'll probably have a menu different than this. Uh, normally what you can search is scanning and it'll come up with this window. Make sure both of these sliders are turned off as well as your location accuracy, make sure it's set to off for improved location accuracy. And if you have a phone that runs a different type of GPS, so it would say GPS either high accuracy or device only, make sure that it's selected device only instead. Uh, also make sure that uh, ELS is off, so emergency location services. We'll turn both those off there. Um, now I am running Android 10, uh, so that's, um, and the menu may be different than what you're seeing as well. 
Also, just a quick side note for the Windows 10 user, or the, pardon me, not the Windows 10, the Android 10 users. Um, if you do go through to your actual app list, and we type in uh, apps and notific pardon me, not apps and notifications, apps, where is it? Okay, this is probably not the best way. There we go, apps and notifications. If we go to see all 129 apps, or however many apps you have, and we go to Google Play Services, there is an option here. If you are on version 19.6 or 19.7, you do have to actually go into the Play Store, and there will be an option at the bottom here, or at the top, where it says uninstall. And you do just have to uninstall it, and it will set it back to the uh, a previous patch that will allow you to actually run the Fuse locations. Because with this patch, the new patch for Google Play services, Fuse locations don't actually work. Uh, so that's just a quick side note there. Now, to be able to move on with the rest of the users here, uh, for GPS Joystick, what you want to do first of all is go to GPS Joystick. And it's by the Ad Ninjas. I will link it in the, the actual description below as well. And what we'll do is we'll click Unlock Features. Sometimes it'll say your device is unknown, and sometimes it'll give you the actual code. If you need to know, if you don't already know what type of actual install you need, you can go to the Play Store and download an app called Droid Info. And it comes up as Droid Hardware Info. You can install it, and on the second page, you'll see an instruction set similar to this, where it says, you can see it in the middle here, it says ARM V8. So that's the type you need on my phone. So we'll go ahead and actually install this here, even though we've already got it installed. Now, once you have it installed, you can scroll down to it. It'll be named differently than this, of course. I've already made my own private version. What we're going to do first is we're going to click Privacy Mode, and we are going to click Generate. And you have to name it something. Don't name it something obvious to spoofing. I like to call mine Wi-Fi Hotspot or Hotspot or anything really, Flowers. And then we can go Generate. And it does take a minute to generate your own private app. Once you do that, make sure you allow the install for both of them as well. There is a lot install pop-up, so you do have to allow from unknown sources. Once you have that, you can go ahead and press and hold and uninstall the original, not the copy you just made, so the original version. And then we can go ahead and open up your copy. Now that you have that installed, and we'll go to settings real quick, and we will make sure that all the sliders are actually, GPS joystick is glitching on me, make sure all the sliders are off except for display info, and you can switch this to classic if you like a square look on your joystick instead of having the giant menu, um, personal preference for the walking, jogging, and running speed of course. All right, guys, now just to cover a little bit about real-time location jumps, you can go up here into real-time location fixes and actually select some of the fixes here and test which ones actually work for you. And uh, whatever ones do work for your actual device, you can certainly use them. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to just enter a random place to spoof. I'm going to go with Pier 39 right now. And just click the Start button at the bottom, Enable Draw Over. And we'll go ahead and start it again. Set it as your mock location app as well. And let's go ahead and select the hotspot you made, or whatever you called it. And then we'll back out of here as well. And we will click start. Watch the little ad. And once that's done, should be in all set up and ready to go and we'll go open Pokemon Go and we should very well be in San Francisco.